first of all, Marcus, privileged to cap the dog. What, what's it been like to be named to keep up? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it was an incredibly humbling sort of experience to, to have the announcement today. And, um, you know, it, it doesn't take you long to probably reflect on, you know, the past leaders of the football club, particularly, obviously, Woody's, Woody's sitting here as the, the previous skipper of the, of the club. It's, a, you know, it's an incredibly humbling feeling to be um, recognised in this way. And, um, you know, hopefully I can do my best to... To lead the group in the in the way that they need it to be led, um, but yeah, great to have some experienced leaders still around me as well to help support me in the role. But I'm um, incredibly hum humbling for sure. You mentioned that as well. I mean, obviously you've been vice kid for a couple of years. Would have East in there as a bit of support, given the you know, the tough times and the work that he's had to do over the last couple of years, must be a bit of a boost as well. It is. It gives you um, gives me great confidence. I mean, Woody and I have obviously being his vice captain for the last couple of years has given me a great experience to. Um, obviously work closely with him and, and help him um, and support him in the best way I can to, to lead the football club and um, to still have him obviously here and, and, and part of the leadership group is is obviously going to be really useful because I know how good a support he is for, for not just you know us as, as leaders but the whole group and um, I thanked Woody a bit earlier today for probably his guidance and, and leadership just from my own point of view over the past few years and um, touched on the fact that he was the first time when I got to the club to take me out for, for a bite and a coffee and um, to think that, you know, this is this is how the, you know, the transition in our relationship has evolved is um, is a nice sort of way um, and, and feeling to be a part of. So um, he's going to be great. Um, he's going to be as caring and, and empathetic as he always has been, but certainly be a great support going forward. Can you take us through the last... 24 hours and how it all unfolded when Eastern was stepping down and yeah. Yeah, um, so obviously Woody announced that, that he'd be stepping down as skipper and um, you know, it was a great chance for us to, to thank Woody sort of early on um, for his contributions to the football club and, and particularly as a captain of the football club and um, that was a, a really good thing for us to be able to do to recognise what he's, what he's done and the, the sacrifices you, you have to make but the support that you can provide you know, not just the players, but the whole football club. And um, from there, it was a uh, basically a player vote. Um, so um, everyone basically went home, um, voted for, for who they thought would be the new captain and vice captain of the football club. And um, obviously, Lockie and I sit here today, and it's a great um, feather in, in, Lockie's, in Lockie's cap and in his development over the past few years and, and since he's come to the football club to, to know that, um, you know, Lockie will be my vice for next year and, and the football club's vice. Um, and that's, yeah, now we sit here. I'm told it was a unanimous decision. Everyone voted for you. That's a bit uh, surreal, a bit special. <laughs> yeah, it gives you, um, you know, gives you pretty good confidence that you know um, that, yeah, that, that the boys felt a particular way and um, to have that full support from, from the whole group definitely Definitely gives you, you know, great confidence that um, I feel like, and they probably feel like I've been ready to, to take on the role and support them in every way that I can. So, um, yeah, knowing that definitely is a nice thing to know and helps for sure. A unanimous bar one, you didn't vote for yourself. I didn't. I didn't. Um, that I guess just, um, you know, speaks to probably how I, you know, view myself. But, but also, um, I wouldn't put myself sort of before the team in, in any in any way. So. Um, you know, it's just it's something that you know I never probably would do. Um, so, like I said, to feel like they, um, you know, they wanted me to, to be part of the, you know, the leadership and the official captain of the club is a great feeling. Who did you, can we ask who you voted for? Yeah, I actually voted for Lockie. Um, so, um, so yeah, to know that he's obviously sitting here next to me, um, it is a great, you know, it's a great feeling too because that's how I viewed him. Um, as a footballer and as a person and um, know that we'll be able to work you know, really closely and well together. Easton, can you just take us through your decision to step down? Yeah, um, I suppose at the end of the season, um, uh, it was a good chance over the off-season to, to review the year and previous years and have a think about um, what I suppose what my time uh, going forward looked like. Um, and yeah, eventually came to the decision that it was yeah, the right time to, to step down. Um, and you know, one of the main driving factors of that was just the, the quality of person um, that Marcus is, and um, how much he's grown. Um, you know, particularly in his time as um, as vice captain, we've been working together really, really closely the last two years, and um, watching him grow over that period. Um, at the end of the year, it was it was obvious to me that um, it was time to to step down and um, you know support him in his opportunity to to lead the club. Um, 
and yeah, I'm incredibly, you know, excited about my next chapter of helping guide Bonte um, and Lockie and then the rest of the leaders um, with what I've learnt over the over the journey. Um, and yeah, it's uh, yeah, it was a I suppose it was a, it was a tough decision, um, but you know, incredibly proud and, and privileged for having had the opportunity to captain the club. Um, it was never something I thought that would ever be um, on my radar, particularly when I started and even a few years into my career. Um, so it's quite surreal to sit here having having captained the club and yeah, one thing I'm incredibly grateful for. How, how did you go, Tony, players? Was it, was it a harder task than what you thought it might have been? Uh, it was all, I was, <laughs> safe to say, excuse me, I was probably shitting myself uh, getting up, <laughs> uh, speaking in front of the group, but um, I made sure I wrote a few things down. Um, yeah, obviously, I didn't want to, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a big moment, so I wanted to be able to articulate, um, you know, how special captaining the club had been for me. Um, and, and I mentioned to the guys that, um, you know, captaining the club has been the single greatest privilege of my entire career. Um, and obviously something that I think only as time goes on that I'll look back even more fondly and, and more proudly of having had the opportunity to do it. Obviously Marcus has had a taste of you know, vice captain under you, but how is his football and life going to change now that he steps into the role? Um, well, I think from my own experience, the thing that changed the most um, was just the amount of time you spend, um, I suppose your idle time, thinking about... Um, uh, the situation or the position the club's in, the position that other players are in, and I suppose your focus really broadens, um, particularly growing, uh, coming through the system as a, as a young player, um, you have a really narrow focus and you need that to be able to be successful and um, to look at how you grow your own game, but uh, particularly when you step into the leadership group and then as extension um, with Marcus's journey becoming captain, that focus really, really broadens. Um, and I mentioned um, when I spoke to in front of the group, I thanked my wife for her support, um, mainly because, you know, uh, when being captain a lot of the time at home, also I was physically home, probably wasn't present as much as I could have been. Um, and that was a symptom of just, you know, thinking of how to, um, what the group needed or what they needed to grow and what we needed to do and reacting to different things from, from week to week and um, the myriad of things that get thrown up um, to decide on as captain. and. Um, Marcus will be, will be great with that. Um, you know, I've seen over his entire journey, um, he's such a, he's got a, such a curiosity about the game, and I think that's going to translate into, you know, curiosity about how good a leader he can be, and um, you know, different elements that he can add and experiment with over the time to be the um, most authentic and best version of himself as, as captain as he can be. Easton, was it yesterday that you told the group? Yeah, yesterday morning. Yeah. What's the? I mean, we see you at the West Coast Channel there, kind of handing the reins over to Luke as well. Like, is there a trend in footy to kind of, while the captain, the former captain, is still playing to help the transition with a, a new captain? Uh, well, it, it was definitely is? one part of my decision that, that you know, helped um, you know, come to that decision, I suppose, was to be able to still be here and have influence to help guide and grow um, you know, the guys coming through. Um, it's a, it'll be a real privilege to still have what I hope to be a, a bit left in the tank to be able to um, you know, help uh, uh, for Marcus and, and Lockie and the other guys to lean on with the experience that, that I've had and I suppose take that more yeah, mentoring and guiding role. And Lockie stepping up the vice captain, um, how, does it, how does it feel to be working closely with, with the, uh, the guy to your right there? Yeah, really exciting. Um, incredibly humbling um, to be voted in by the players um, and the coaches give the tick. It's similar to Woody. It's, it's not something I thought um, I would be doing, you know, probably up until two years ago coming into the leadership group. So it's something I'm really proud of and, and something I can't wait to, to attack this year. What do you think the dynamic will be like between the pair of you? I don't know. I reckon we work, we work pretty well together at the moment. Um, he's been a good sounding board for me, so... Um, I don't know, I hope it goes well. So far it's going well, it's been <laughs> Same as it probably normally is, I, I think. I guess a lot of the advice um, I've probably been given and you are as leaders is, you know, you get to that position by being sort of who you are and, um, you know, like Woody said, the authenticity side of, of playing football and then obviously maintaining those those values and relationships is really important and um, Lockie and I are pretty close mates anyway, which, which does help. Um, from a dynamic point of view, so um, we ultimately we're just going to do our best to, you know, set a good example and, and make the right decisions at times for for, the, for all involved. Easton's been able to lift the cup, big shoulders and shoes to fill. 
Oh, I mean, that's the, that's the goal. That's the dream at the end of the day. And, um, you know, all three of us, obviously, we were a part of it. Um, so we've experienced it, you know, in, in different sort of varying levels. And um, we know how hard it is to win, I guess. And we, we know how hard it is to, to follow up. So um, I think we're all excited about the, the journey the football clubs, you know, hopefully going to go on next season. And, um, you know, like I said, we've, you know, Woody's still here. He's still someone that we're going to lean on um, quite a bit. So um, that's going to be important for us going forward. Um, and, you know, who knows what can happen. What kind of captain will you be? Oh, hopefully someone who, um, you know, leads the team the way they need to be led. Um, a caring and, and an empathetic one, um, but, but someone who can hopefully influence um, the game and, and others in a positive way. And I guess ultimately we, we talk a lot about... I guess legacy is as as football players and um, you know wanting to leave the you know the jumper and the position of the football club in a better place and um, I guess ultimately that's that's what I want to do is if so I help one one player on the list improve or become a better player or person then hopefully I've you know done a good job. Marcus, Jamie Dudd has got you rated as the uh, second best list entering next year. Is there a real belief given what you were able to achieve and back up last year that this group is? Contract yeah, I, th I think there is. Like, it obviously stems from um, you know the back half of our season last year of being able to put together some really strong football. Um, you know, we got some great growth out of the whole list, probably across the board, but particularly some of our younger players who um, you know you're going to continue to um, encourage to explore more improvement and, and um, encourage them to, to take their games to new levels and. Um, that's what you know. That's what we need from a from a whole list perspective. Is is everyone obviously swimming in the right direction and and being willing to to improve across the board. So, um, you know, I think there's a real strength around the football club. Hopefully at the minute, um, and that's probably what we'll continue to improve on throughout the course of the preseason. Yeah, the new recruits settled in the last month or so, uh, particularly Alex Keith and Josh Bruce. Yeah, both boys have added a, a lot to our list um, in, in a short period of time. Obviously, um, two mature players, so they bring with them, um, you know, some physical sort of strength, but also some experience. And um, you know, they, they obviously have had their own experiences at, at different clubs, and um, that's great to, to lean on at times. But um, you know, both are really impressing so far. Both really good, really good lads who are going to be a positive influence for the for the club and our young list. So, um, both had a really good influence so far.